Following the supervised machine learning PowerPoint presentation lecture, we will now be demoing the supervised ML regression basic Jupyter notebook. This is an introduction to descriptive and predictive models where we go over the core ideas of machine learning, which is subdivided into unsupervised and supervised machine learning. But in this demo, we'll only be analyzing supervised machine learning algorithms. We start off by making installations of common and popular packages known as pandas, numpy, plotlib, and sklearn. Next, we load the load line dataset from sklearn.datasets, and we see here the features, also known as column names. We proceed to import pandas as PD, we, where we will then transform the data set into a table form known as a data frame. This data frame has a shape of 178 rows of entries and 13 columns. We take a closer look at the target class where we see that it is an array that consists of zero, one, and two values. We then proceed to import the train test split function from the sklearn.module underscore selection library. We split the data set in order to have a validation against the training of the 70% of the data set versus the 30% of the testing data set. We then proceed to conduct linear regression. So first we start off with a simple scatter plot of points where we should be able to find the regression line. Here's the scatter plot that we see, and then we proceed to import linear regression from sklearn.linear underscore model. We instantiate the linear regression classifier and proceed to fit the classifier on the X and Y sets. We then plot the data and the line of best fit accordingly. Now, a take home assignment would be to determine whether the coefficients and the intercept listed here match well against the original y equals to 2x plus 3 plus random equation. Now we will be using logistic regression, which uses a technique from linear regression, but tries to map to Boolean values instead. We will take a look at the logic or a logistic function, which is also called the sigmoid function indicated by a sigma sign. We'll look at several variations as well as linear and step function. Here we, we define several variations of the logistic function, and we plot them against the Boolean, linear, and here we display a graph that highlights these functions. Now we will be using logistic regression. We can easily use a logistic regression classifier from sklearn to train and make predictions. We import logistic regression from sklearn.linear underscore model. And again, we proceed to instantiate the model as CLF, which stands for classification. And we fit the model against the training sets. We then make predictions based on the input test. And we name this prediction. And we proceed to determine the accuracy by comparing between the predictions and the actual inputs, no, outputs known as Y test. As we can see, we have a high logistic regression uh, accuracy of 96.3%. And here we have the classifiers coefficient and intercept values. That concludes our demo of basic supervised machine learning regression. Thank you.